It has been reported that the 123 men who were detained by the Lagos State Task Force on Environmental Sanitation and Special Offenses Enforcement Unit have sued the Lagos State Government for unlawful detention and seizure of their motorcycles. The men filed a suit for 1 billion naira in the Federal High Court in Lagos against the Lagos State Commissioner of Police, Chairman of the Task Force and the State Attorney General as respondents. The 123 men were said to be traveling from Jigawa State in a truck with 48 motorcycles when they were stopped by the Lagos Task Force along the Mosalachi Road, Agege. They were detained but later released. The men, through their lawyer, Abba Hikima, claimed that the Lagos State government violated their right to free movement in Nigeria, according to Section 41 of the 1999 Constitution. They also prayed the court to order the respondents to release their 48 seized motorcycles, their truck and any goods belonging to them. This incident has raised the issue of internal migration within Nigeria as people move from rural areas to urban cities in search of better opportunities. With a growing population of over 21 million, Lagos ranks as the largest city in Nigeria and the eighth fastest growing city in Africa. However, the growing population in Lagos puts pressure on state resources such as housing, health care, education, jobs, water and sanitation. The pressure is already being felt in the crippling traffic and dilapidated road network that runs through the state. Along with internal migration also comes the concern of growing insecurity. Lagos State has been troubled with armed robbery, cultism and the brewing rift between different ethnic groups. It is a challenge to keep the inhabitants adequately engaged and employed in order to dissuade them from veering into a life of crime. Roots TV, Nigeria.